Hello everyone and welcome back to the 55 Fitness channel. My name's Emily and today I have fitness instructor Vanessa here and she's gonna show us how to get into a C-curve position to help strengthen that core. 55 Fitness specializes in group fitness classes and personal training for women ages 55 plus. At 55 Fitness, no one ever feels intimidated, overwhelmed, out of shape or out of place. I'm Emily, come and join us. Hey, thanks Emily. Um, so to get into a seeker position, you wanna start sitting on the floor um, with your feet flat about hip distance apart. Um, you wanna have your pelvis in a neutral position. So you're really gonna have to lengthen up. If that's too difficult, if you're not able to find a neutral pelvis, you're gonna find a block like a yoga block or a step or something that you can sit on just to elevate your hips a little bit. First thing we want to do is we want to find a neutral shoulder blade. So go ahead, roll those shoulders back and down. Arms are just going to be kind of freely, loosely in front of you. And we're going to lead the movement with our low back. So you're going to take your pelvis, tilt it back, belly button's going to follow, and then the rest of your spine is just going to curve with it. So in the end, you want a nice fluid curve from the top of your head all the way down to your tailbone. And this is your C-curve position. What you want to watch for here is that uh, you don't want to be reaching your arms forward. If you feel like the shoulders have rolled in, if your head is pulled down, if you're gazing kind of right at your belly button, then you've rounded the head too much. So your, your gaze should kind of be at, at your knees and those shoulders should be nice and wide. Now, if you're a little bit like Emily here and your low back is pretty stiff, um, I'm going to give you a ball and we're just gonna stick it right behind her low back here. And this is just gonna give a little bit of feedback. So as you tilt your pelvis back, push that belly button in, you're aiming to push your low back into the ball. And then the rest of your spine is just gonna follow that curve. There, so from the top of the head all the way down to the tailbone is nice and round. There you go. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Vanessa, just for showing that. And I'm sure we'll be doing some more C-curve work in the future. So if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to our channel. And we hope to see you back here at 55 Fitness. Thanks so much. Bye.